Hello, everybody. Welcome to Bruise and Blades on October 20th of 2018. We're doing it live! Let me uh, refresh here, make sure I can see all your comments and all that stuff. There we go. That was pretty quick this time. That's good. Um, hope you guys are uh, having a good day. I'm having an all right one. Didn't sleep much last night, but other than that, everything's been good. Let me straighten my camera here just to skosh. Let me skosh in a quarter. Uh, yeah, Derek, that's the Terzula on the left. Hey, everybody. Uh, Bobby, this is a... Uh, we have a lot of prototypes out here today. That was kind of the unintentional theme of the stuff I pulled out. This is the Brian Nadeau Sharp by Designs Micro Typhoon prototype. This is the Dam Designs uh, Oni prototype. And yeah, that's a, a Bob Terzula drop prototype. So uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. Already 26 in here. That's cool. That's cool. Have a good week away. Yeah, I mean, uh, the going to Nashville is always fun. Uh, the, the show wasn't great. Uh, pretty low turnout, but that's nothing I can do about that. But um, the, uh, no, nah, it wasn't a comedy show. It was a, a, a bike bike convention. And uh, yeah, not as many people came out as they usually do. But uh, unfortunately, they're moving it next year. I really like having it in Nashville. Nashville is a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, we did a lot of fun stuff. Went out and saw um, uh, went out and saw a band, friends of ours. My wife went to college with a couple guys in the band. And uh, we didn't tell them we were coming and surprised them. That was pretty cool. Um, uh, what was my carry today? It was this. It was the uh, the PM2 crew wear. I haven't, I haven't carried my PM2 much lately. So I thought maybe I should bust it out. Spider Coast Sunday and all that stuff. So, um, man, my camera angle looks really weird on this. It's so it's odd. It looks fine on my, on my phone, but man, it looks really odd. There we go. That's a little better. Um, I already got a, a hydrate call, so I'll show you, uh, um, what's my favorite road bike. I haven't ridden road bikes in so long. I don't know. I was an Italian snob when I used to ride road bikes. So I, so I used to always ride more chodies, but, um, uh, so, uh, oh, and we're getting a little spinnies. There we go. That's fine. Um, you said you had a, uh, I have recently the braid grind is a little chunky. I don't know what, what you were, I don't know what, uh, what knife you were talking about. Um, uh, beer snob too. I am a little bit, I am a little bit, but I'll, I'll drink a plain Budweiser while I'm out or I drink a uh, Jenny up here. We have Genesee beer. That's cheap. So I'll drink cheap beer, but sometimes I just want to, um, normally, normally I like stuff like this, but, uh, and oh yeah. And Keith, you moved. I saw that on the Instagrams. That is, uh, that's never fun. I'm hoping to be doing that early next year myself, though. We're going to start house shopping, waiting for a yield tax refund to come in and um, use that for uh, the rest of a down payment. And then uh, we're going to gonna move, hopefully. So we shall see. Favorite mountain bike then? I don't ride mountain bikes either. I review recumbents. But uh, back when I used to, um, yeah, sevens are pretty nice. Uh, I had a Yeti. I raced uh, one of the bike shop teams I was on was sponsored by Lightspeed. We have a few of those. I didn't like the way they handled, but um, really nicely made. But, you know, and that was so long ago. I'm sure they've changed a lot by now. Moving to a place that has better knife laws, Ohio knife lovers. No, I'm just moving. Our goal is to stay with the same zip code. Um, that's We're being really picky. We've lived in three different houses in this same zip code. So, um, hey, Steve, how's it going? Um, uh, just try and catch up on stuff here. So, uh, yeah, I don't have anything particular to talk about tonight, except for that I did hit 40 on the Patreon. So this is going to get given away on the morrow. So, uh, if you are not in the Patreon yet, tonight is the last night to do that. Join up on Patreon, any of the, any of the levels. And I'm going to do a drawing just from the Patreon people for the Wienar. Um, Hey, if you like where you live, why you live? Yeah, I like I like where I live. So a knife in the middle. This is the, I said earlier the Dam Designs uh, Oni prototype. I assume that's how you say it. Oni Oni. I actually used the hell out of this when I was on that trip. I I had this as like my little secondary knife, and I used it a lot. I wish 
I would have used it a bit more because one day I did not have it and I handed my wife my uh, my TRM Atom and she chipped the blade on it by throwing it on the floor. I was very upset, but um, uh, it's it's fine. It, it's fine now. I fixed it, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, just a tiny, tiny little nick in the blade. But yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously, obviously, I have to get divorced. But uh, other than that, everything's completely fine. Um. It, uh, yeah, she was standing up on a chair and just uh, chucked it on the floor. Um, it, uh, yeah, the recumbent thing just kind of happened. It wasn't my uh, intention. I was I used to review mountain bikes. I was a pro mountain bike racer, and then I transitioned into reviewing mountain bikes. And um, uh, then um, I wound up. Once no one was paying me to ride, I started reviewing recumbents, and it went good. And there is a stupid little fly. I hate this time of year. Stupid little tiny flies. Can't stand them. But uh, I'm going to take my uh, my fleece off. I thought I was going to need it because I shut the door, but right now it's still way too hot in this up in this this biatch for me to uh, deal with that. Biker stud. I wouldn't say that. I never won any pro races. I just raced that way. So I just, I had the license and I raced for a truck Volkswagen. Um, yeah, I hear you, Steve. Life does get insane. My life's been pretty insane lately too. So it's getting better though. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, my, uh, my eyes are being weird again, but not in the way they were before. Uh, just I've had a hard time with my uh, right. Um, oh, thanks, Kyle. Appreciate that. Um, I uh, my I went out without sunglasses on the other day, so my right eye is um, a bit painful um, at the moment. I'm actually wearing sunglasses right now because of my uh, um, my lights in the studio. So yeah, so these are actually. Uh, I'm a face right now because they're really light so I can still see, but don't have to, uh, her cannabis is great for the eyes. I do CBD. That's helped out a whole lot, honestly, but, uh, I screwed up. I screwed up yesterday. I was out too long without my sunglasses on and, um, I partially detached my retina at one point in my life and it did not heal correctly. So my right eye gets, if it gets overexposed to sun, it, it has a hard time. Um, yeah, a lot of prototypes out here what all you guys want to talk about this i'm gonna have something up about this uh um tomorrow or the next day uh i really do like this little thing it's pretty cool i think i think for it's really small knives i think tantos are awesome because uh you're basically using like a utility knife like a box opener box cutter stuff like that it's uh it's really great it, and it's sharp as hell i'm really enjoying this thing it's uh it's been a lot of fun. Like I said, I, I used the hell out of it when I was traveling recently because you know, at a bike show where we had to open a lot of boxes and cut a lot of zip ties and stuff like that. But uh utility type stuff, it worked great for that. It was really, really good. Um oh thanks, Keith. I appreciate that. Pair of three for the win on loan from Jack Farm Boy. The only pair of three I have is the lightweight, which I actually do have right over here. Um that's the only pair of three I have right now. I do kind of miss my crew wear pair of three, but not enough to track one down. Excuse me, on the secondary market. But why am I excusing for burping on a show that's half about beer? That's just dumb. Um, you see the M390 DL trading pair of three lightweight. Oh, I did not see it. Not in a lightweight. That's cool. I need to check that out. Um, you want to... Tie Design CRKT from Kyle Lanfair YouTube channel today. Oh, yeah, that's, that's cool. I have one of those somewhere. Somewhere I've got one. Uh, yeah, I've got the... Uh, oh, oh, it's right here. I have so many knives spread out. on my. I, I do this all on a big, giant table, so if they're within reach. What is it? This one? Yeah, the TyTac 2. That's a pretty cool little knife, I do have to say. I do like the pretty cool. That's not that little, but pretty cool knife. I do like this a lot. I had the Brian Ty, uh, Brian Ty and Friends Tie Fighter, and I, uh, other than the blade steel, I can't honestly say that I liked it. I liked it more than this. Uh, this is a really good value, and I think uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works blew these out for like twenty bucks a while ago, 
And that's what this one was. But by the time I got it and went to go review it, they were all gone. They sold in like a day. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, anywhere on Spider Co. is going to drop the Sage 5 lightweight. I have, no, I have no idea. Can you bring out the Chavez, please? Uh, I can at some point. I'm not quite sure where I have it at the moment. So, um... If my eyes fall upon it, I will I will bring it out. But I, I haven't carried it in a few days, so I'm not 100% where it is. Um, I think it might actually be back in its back in its little home in my case. Uh, what else we got? Uh, I prefer the... I don't know what that means. Um... Oh, since it's a red M390 lightweight. I'll have to look that up. That does sound pretty cool. I might I might be tempted to buy one of those. Um, yeah, but ne next I think I want to get the... Uh, since I have this one and I have the Manix 2 in the same configuration from Knife Center, I think I want to get that. I see the Native 5s are still around. How's the Trizula traveling? Really good. I really do like it a whole lot. Uh, they did make one major change between this is the prototype and the production, but uh, it's internal. I mean, you wouldn't probably notice it looking at it, but uh, instead of having the um, internal stop pin on the blade, now the stop pin is is built into the frame. They wanted metal on metal instead of, or steel on steel instead of steel on titanium. So they made that little change, um, but other than that, uh, this is the way it's going to be, and uh, I love the pocket clip on this still. It's great. That micro typhoon looks great. I'm really loving Riot Blades. Yeah, it is really good. I I have one of his voids on uh, order, so I should have that actually next month. I think the uh, Brian Nadeau vo Brian Nadeau void. Um, pretty excited about that. And uh, the previous typhoons, I've only held a couple. I've never like owned one. The regular. Evo Typhoon I thought was just too big for me at the time, but now I kind of don't think it would be. Um, but I'm really liking this little one. It's uh, it's pretty darn nice. This little guy in the middle. Again, it's a damn designed Oni. I should have just put that in the title because everybody keeps asking me it. <laughs> asking, uh, you ever try high polishing G10 at home? No, I have not. I I hear it's nasty stuff to, to mess with, but uh, I've just never really... I don't modify stuff a whole lot. I don't have stuff long enough to modify it, and I always keep in mind resale value on that stuff. Uh, do you own the Capara and Shaman? Which do you like better? I do own a Capara. It's not the new CQI one, but mine always drops shut um, very, very easily. So uh, I don't really worry about getting the CQI one, and um, I, I used to own a Shaman. I sold it. I very, very much regret it. When people ask me what's the knife you regret selling the most, that is quite often my answer. Uh, how much is the Oni sale for? Do you know? It's about 100 bucks. Yeah, it comes in this full titanium, and there's some other configurations. Like maybe there's a G10. There's a liner lock version, and there's this titanium frame lock version. But I think they're all, um, I think he said they're all around 100 bucks. I have to look at my Instagram messages and reference it. But uh, it'll be a, uh, it'll be like his other designs have been. It'll be a GoFundMe or whatever it is that he uses. I can't remember the, it's not GoFundMe, but it's one of those, uh, one of those pre-order service things, you know. I can't remember. I can't remember which one it is, but they'll be uh, available on there. Um, yeah, a bunch of people got the Onis. I didn't realize how many people got them. So Kickstarter, that's the word I'm looking for. Thank you, John. Um, yeah, I just didn't. I just hadn't done it because it's going to be a while before that it's out. So I was, I was waiting, but um, other people did not wait. So, um. And, uh, I'm going to allow that one, even though you swore. You know, I, I, I've just given you a hard time, Thomas Hopcroft. It's just a, whenever anybody swears, it holds it for review. So I have to approve it. You got a Southern Grind? Cool. In Australia. Well, yeah, I bet there's not many of those down there. Down yonder way. Hey, Chad, good to see you. 77 watching now. Pretty good. Um... What is your description of hard use? Um, I don't know, just something that might, something that stands a chance of damaging it. I don't really have like a definite, definite thing. 
Um, how are you doing the giveaway? Uh, I'm just, I have luckily, or luckily, or unluckily, fortunately or unfortunately, I have few enough Patreon supporters that I'm just going to enter all of you into one of those randomizer things and do a drawing on the interwebs. So you will see a video coming up uh, probably tomorrow. And uh, then I'll just, I'll just pull somebody from it. But I'm just going to put everybody's names in a, in a virtual hat and, uh, and pull one out. So uh, getting ready to watch the Cowgirls. It was good. Yeah, my Jets beat them last week, which I'm almost kind of disappointed by. I thought we were playing for a draft pick, and now we're going to start winning. The Jets are going to do the same thing they ever they do every damn year. They just barely miss the playoffs, and they get your hopes all up, and then they miss the playoffs, and then we get crappy draft picks, and nothing ever gets better. I think I'm buying a Spider Monkey carbon fiber with either Tanto or the Damascus. I have the drop point carbon fiber one. And I enjoy it very, very much. I don't think he's on tonight. He, sometimes he pops on here, but JT's Knife Life kind of, uh, he kind of stole my thunder with a video, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway. I, I did a video about the knives that I traveled with, and uh, he did the exact same thing because <laughs> he was on a trip last weekend too. Um, or is one coming up, something like that. And uh, I'm going to do a little video about the three knives I took with me. And I almost took the Spider Monkey, but at the last minute I didn't. Hey, Zach, how's it going? Hey, Jameson, you're not that late. We haven't had anything super important coming up. I will say we're going to have uh, some different t-shirts. I have down below the, um, the, the Teespring ones, uh, but my wife makes tie-dye t-shirts. It's one of her many, many talents, and I think uh, she started to set me up an e-commerce site so I can sell stuff directly and... Uh, um, I think we're gonna do some tie dye ones because she does a really cool job. They look they look pretty awesome. So uh, I'm probably gonna do some tie dye ones on my site, and that's where I'm gonna have to do my purple openels if they ever if openel ever gets back to us about that. So we're just waiting on openel for that. Um, oh, you bought a new snowblower. Uh, my snowblower is uh, 20 years old and six foot five. And uh, I just tell him to go shovel my driveway so I don't have to have one. Someday he's going to move out, and then I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be screw-ed. Yeah, I hope we get the purple open L's. I, they're either going to be purple or, or uh, just natural wood with a lot of purple on them, but one way or the other. One way or the other, that's happening. Uh, almost bought my first PM2, but I'm worried about the tip. You have your way of breaking yours. No, but I don't do anything super crazy with my knives, so uh, I'm usually pretty careful with the ones that are pricey. So, uh, but no, I've never, but I know a lot of people do snap them off. That is definitely a thing that happens, but uh, no, I never have. Um, I normally actually carry a Manix 2 more often than the PM2, but I just haven't carried the PM2 in a while, so I thought I would, uh, I'd bust it out today. So, uh, so I did because they, they, they're matchies too. They're the, both the knife center exclusive crew wear ones. But what else did I want to bring out here? There was something else. I don't remember. Oh, we'll bring this out since I have it on the, the koozie because I got, I got my, uh, oh, where is it? Where's my, uh, where's my Kershaw? There it is. That's what I wanted to bring out. Got the USA made blade exclusive Kershaw Knockout M390. Very, very cool. And uh, they sent me along also one of their little one of their little koozies. So you're going to be seeing that around a lot. What are your thoughts on the Going Gear Red 940? I don't know. I don't remember seeing that. Thanks, Zach. Appreciate that as always. Um, I do need to get me another... Uh, do need to get me another um, another 940 though, definitely. Uh, yet to get a crew wear, what steel does it compare to? I mean, it's it's like it's like better D2, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, do you see Metal Complex place the open out 
in the overrated category. No, I did not. I will have words with him about that, though. <laughs> no, I did not see that. I, 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 contrary to popular belief, I don't have time to watch everybody's videos. So, uh, I try to, yeah. I, I would call it, does anybody else disagree with that? Crewware is just, like, m much better D2. It's a little less rust-resistant, or a little more rust-resistant. Holds an edge a little bit better. Thank you, Kyle, for uh, the, uh, I just, I saw your little Patreon thing coming up. I assume you're probably on here. Um, going gear 940. I'll have to look that up. I'm, I'm sure I've probably seen it, but I'm just not remembering it. Oh, the open owl can make a good fishing bobber. Bites your tongue, Bob B. They deserve more than that. Crew wear open owl here? Oh, God, that'd be awesome. How's the flavorless vape going? I've always done flavorless anyway. Um, I never, I don't like flavors. I don't, I just want my damn nicotine. I don't need to have um, watermelon mango juice in my mouth all the time. Um, but uh, actually they, they keep, they keep delaying it in New York. So they haven't actually put that ban through yet. I know a guy that owns a vape shop and he was furious because they told him that was going to happen and he blew out all the flavored stuff for pennies on the dollar and then they delayed it. So um, yeah, but I don't like flavors in my vape anyway. I actually went down a level. I went down a level. You guys might not be hearing me do this for a while. I'm down to, down to the six mil. So we shall see. And then in a couple of weeks, we're going to go down to the three mil. And then if I can handle that, then I'm, uh, I'm going to wait a couple months and I'm going to quit. I might, that might be my new year's resolution thing is to stop using it. Um, but we shall see. Yeah, it's a little tougher too, Abby. Yeah, about crew wear is in the D2, yeah. And, uh, I don't think D2 blows. It depends on the company that makes it. There's a lot of company that makes, uh, Jay Strongwell say so it's, uh, a lot of companies do make some crappy D2, but, uh, the companies that make good stuff, D2 is all right. I, I don't have a problem with it. I just got to find something to do with my hands, John, if I'm not vaping. Like, I just need something to do. You think it's worth re-tiger striping a Strider SMG blade for 150 Eh. I probably wouldn't. Do you think the bug out was overrated? Absolutely not. I think the bug out is a fantastic knife. I really, really do like it. I have been meaning to watch his... Are you still talking about... Um, why did it review that um it's not about metal complexes video I've, i haven't watched it i need to i i had it queued up a while ago and then i i didn't but um love the knockout yeah the knockout's one of my favorite kershaw's this and the uh bare knuckle are my my two favorites yeah so like brandon wagner says d2 is a great budget steal as long as corrosion isn't an issue and where i live corrosion is not an issue upstate new york is not a i'm not gonna say it's a dry climate but it is not a humid climate so um red para three versus bug out well the red para three is a limited edition so i never i never do try not to ever do battles to the death with limited editions but i usually try and use the the dividend's good too but i think i do like the knockout just a little bit better as far as the assisted stuff goes it gets pretty humid in this part of upstate new york yeah but it's not like it's not like you know louisiana humidity or anything i just put edci on everything anyway so i never have a problem with anything but um just prepped a meal with a bare knuckle i cut an english muffin with my bare knuckle a couple days ago i guess that is that meal prep cutting an english muffin hard use um yeah the bug out is uh the bug out is a, a pretty darn good knife. I like overall, I mean, I haven't looked at that red M390 para three, but I said before, I like the bug out in every objective way better than the para three lightweight, but I just find myself carrying the para three lightweight more often. And I'm not really sure why. Um, Uh, Laura Kyle, the bug out has a lot more options in my opinion. I'm talking about Savivi, Fortnite channel, you like it. John says, yeah, that's all true. 
Um, you need a bare knuckle on M390. We do. We do, Scott Simmons. You said M399, but I'm going to assume you mean M390. Yes, we definitely do need to get the bare knuckle in the black edition with the M390. I would be as happy as a little girl if they did that. I would carry it so much. I, the only thing I, the only reason I can think of why they haven't is because it's not, it's unassisted and it's manual. So maybe it would kind of infringe on ZT a bit. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, I'd really like to see that. Um, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's a good point, Libby. Yeah, ZT does have assisted ones. Yep. That John Hoffman, very good. That That is a Mike Myers reference. That's why I say it in that voice. Happy as a little girl. I don't even remember where it's from. It was from SNL or one of his movies. I don't even remember which what movie it's from. Uh, Blade Man, no, I do not have a discount code at SMKW. Thank you for asking, though, but I do not. Um, right there. Looking at comments here, John Dung says, oh, we're talking about the bug out, I assume, about the flex. I didn't, I've never noticed the flex on it actually using it. Oh, you're right. It was from uh, Sprockets. This is the time on Sprockets when we dance. That's where it was from. Uh, Spenza 21 or large Inkosi. I already have a small Inkosi. I like the Inkosi much better than the Spenza. Ordered a TM, TRM Viter this week. Should be delivered. Oh, cool. I, I don't have my Viter anymore, but that was always really... That's that's the knife that got... That was my first TRM. That's the one that got me into them. Uh, thank you, Chris Rayner. And you're uh, you're very welcome. You said thanks for doing this every Saturday night. You're, you're very, very welcome. Um, Dita on Sprockets. Uh... Brian, I'd have to work it. That's what she said in every video. I, I'm that would I probably could. Uh, I'm hauling in corn at, at the moment. Are you guys talking about knives again? You're hauling in corn? You have enough. You bought enough corn that it requires hauling, or are you a farmer? I don't know. I don't know how. I've never had to haul corn. I've never had enough corn that I would call it hauling. The M390 bare knuckle has to be coming. It would be a silly business decision not to. I think I think so too. There's uh no way. A Praetorian you handle. Yeah, I had the Praetorium production one I did a review of. Um I it's cool. It's it you know what it actually worked. I was not expecting it to even work as a knife, but actually, uh even though it's a big giant ridiculous monstrosity, it, it does work as a knife that was actually pretty thin behind the edge. It actually cut pretty good. Did not mind it. Yeah, the production Praetorium. Yeah, Kluver's over there making shine. Hey, Neves Knives, how you doing? You got the red knockout. Yeah, I, I didn't... Uh, they just sent me one. I didn't get to specify colors, but they, I probably still would have got this one. But uh, the red with the stone wash is pretty nice, too. Um... This emotional thing is, excuse me, to... I've had enough. I've had enough corn for lugging. Never hauling. Ashcan says yes. Exactly. I've I've lugged corn. Remember, we went to a big cookout, and I was responsible for grilling corn. And I thought about two or three years ago, and I I think I bought like forty years of corn or something like that. Have you flipped that fine modded spider co yet? Which one? Oh, this is the only modded one, I guess. So yeah, no, I I did in the video when I did it, but. Yeah, it's a nice one. I do really like the titanium uh, ball bearing cages. They're very, very nice. Man, you know what? I have to say, uh, you guys can't see my face, but uh, I'm, I'm wearing my sunglasses I got for my Freddie Mercury costume. For Which, by the way, next Sunday's Bruising Blades, uh, I'm going to be in my f full Freddie Mercury costume. So uh, be, pre be prepared for that. Um but uh, I bought these lighter shaded Ray-Bans, and uh, you know what? They're really nice for doing videos because the the lights aren't blinding me. So um, I really do like that, I have to say. 
you're probably going to see me in uh, wearing these sunglasses if I ever do face reveals. It's not because I think I'm cool. I have an eye condition, but it's uh, my, my studio lights are super bright, so it's really nice to have uh, a little shade. Did you get your your pick on Instagram? I did. I did. Jax knives. Just I saw it like just before we went on. I I I have the memory of a flea. I don't remember what it was, but I I did. I do remember that you sent me a picture, and I I thought I thumbs up it or something. But yeah, yes, I got these. These are pretty cool. I got the blue ones because it's Freddy's, but uh, they're lighter than I expected, um, and they uh, they work great. Highly recommend uh, light sunglasses for studio work. Oh, you was oh that was you. I do remember the picture now. That was you as Freddie. Oh well, I'm gonna. I, mine's gonna be better. I even bought the right shoes, man. I went and got the. I went and got bought a pair of Adidas Sambas OGs. You would not believe how hard it was to find a pair of those. Um. Yeah, Laura, that's the exact same problem I have, detached retina. And that's why I have to wear um, sunglasses all the time. I have the exact same exact same problem, Laura. Yep. Same here. My right eye goes black. Yep. You get used to living life behind sunglasses, but but these are nice because they're uh, you know they're just they're light enough that I can walk into a store and walk out again and you know not have to take them off and they're pretty cool. And I, I I think they're real. I bought them on the interwebs through an Instagram ad, and they were fifty five dollars shipped. And they normally cost one hundred and seventy. And they came in the wrong box. They came in a real Ray Ban box, but it's the wrong model. But then I looked at the serial number on the on the frames, and it's all correct. And Ray Ban let me register them as for a warranty. So I I guess they're real. But who knows? I don't really care. I initially just got them for a for a um, costume, but uh, they are the polarization is right. They're polarized, so I can I and when I walk outside, you know how you wear polarized sunglasses, you look at like a, the polarized car windshields, they look purple and stuff. Like it, they do all that, so they're actually polarized. I don't know. Yes, questionable. I think is the best. Uh, Ashkin, I think I got real ones, but I think I got them from a shady place. <laughs> I think is what it was. So I think maybe they fell off the back of a truck at some point in their life, but but they're I normally wear Oakleys. This is my first pair of Ray Bans I've ever had. I'm normally an Oakley guy. Because I like their level of polarization. Because I have to wear polarized, and you know, you can get with uh yeah, this is EDC stuff we can talk about, right? This is this is somewhat related. I think plug like is getting off on a tangent, but normally I wear um like these Oakleys, or I have a pair of the um the uh crankshafts. Um and then I have another pair of these in gold. Uh but uh they're really dark. So I like the Ray Bands because they're a little lighter. But I like their level of polarization. They're polarized enough that they um they do what they're supposed to do, but they're not so polarized that everything looks weird. Because sometimes with polariz polarized sunglasses, you can get where everything just looks weird. Um, and and I can't stand that. So I like Oakley's level of polarization. The Maui Gyms, I always found that were they were that's one that's one brand that I thought was too polarized for me. But I think everybody gets. Uh, gets gets weird with that. I think uh, I think the, the level of polarization is uh up to your eyes. Knives, sunglasses, watches, Zippos. Knives, sunglasses, watches, yes. Uh Zippos, I've only got one. I have an old really old one. Um no, I guess not that old. It's from the eight nineties, but yeah, like a twenty five year old one. Um get an Oakley Prism lens. I, I and you know, if you have bifocals, uh, plane crafter, you can get bifocal contacts. They kept trying to give those to me all the time, and I said no. How's your mom doing? She all, yeah, she's all settled in. She's not uh, not doing. She's she's doing good as far as settling in health wise. Uh, not awesome, but uh, that's that's the way it's gonna be. She's not doing any worse than normal. Knives have a six degree of separation from everything in the world. Every normal says, "Yeah, I love, I love when people try and play the six degree separ separation game with me, because um, uh, I did 
a really quick thing for Wegmans, uh, the grocery store chain up here with Alec Baldwin. So I'm six, I'm like two degrees of separation from everyone. So I always win that game. You can name any famous person and I'm, I'm two degrees away. Or is it one degree away? I don't know how to, how to calculate that. Oh, cool, Derek. If you're only going to have one Zippo, that's a good one. Adam Sandler. Yeah, Alec Baldwin's been on Adam Sandler stuff. Um, planes get the no-line bifocals. You know what's you know what's a pain, Edward York, though, about, about having prescription sunglasses? Because I almost had to go that route when I had my eye thing a couple months ago, and I didn't know if I was going to wear contacts anymore. Um, it was... Uh, it's that... I don't want to take I, switching glasses. Like just having to live behind sunglasses is, is a big enough of a pain in the ass that having to switch them is uh, I I that's more than I want to deal with. So that's why I still I that's why I'm, I don't own prescription sunglasses. Eric Kill says vaping. Yep, always you almost always am on these things. We just talked about that a minute ago. Um, Oh, yeah, I had the beer in my hand, but I wasn't drinking it because I was answering a question. I was halfway there, Chris, but thank you for looking out for me. And by the way, it is uh, Brooklyn Pilsner. Uh, my prescriptions, my prescription glasses are Oakley frames, but uh, they're not, they're not um, tinted. Uh, well, that's more information than I needed, Steve. I, I hope I hope you I hope I hope you both enjoyed it very much. <laughs> if you were attending Blade Show West, what would you check out? Um, man, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I don't even know who's going to be there. Yeah, plane service. I have to agree with Brian about the prescription about prescription sunglasses. Um. Yeah, it's a, it's a pain in the ass having to switch glass. It, it's when you have to wear. I'm sure Laura, we have the same eye condition. I'm sure Laura can testify. Like when you have to live behind sunglasses, it's that's a big enough pain in the ass that I didn't want to wind up having to switch stuff back and forth. And wow, what a great husband you are, Steve. Uh, Brian, is that strictly New York beer? No, Brooklyn Brewery goes all over the place. I know, I, I see it. I've seen it like as far as south as like North Carolina I know has it so they're pretty big actually the Pilsner might not I don't think they distribute everything but Brooklyn Lager I know is everywhere um oh, you guys are talking about Striders you know I've never handled a Strider I don't think I've ever even handled one I meant to swing by there at Blade Show, and I just never did. I mean, I live behind glasses because I'm blind as a bat. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, mean, I have to wear contacts all the time, too, but it's... Uh, um, walking in and out of buildings and stuff, and yeah, if I'm out in the sun for more than about 20, about 20 minutes, my right eye goes black. Uh, even, when it's, even when it's cloudy out. I always get like, oh, you just wear sunglasses because you think you're cool. It's like, no, I, I'll go blind. I think I actually, if you guys saw me at Blade Show, I think uh, there was one morning where the, the lights just seemed especially bright and I was wearing sunglasses inside there. So I'm just have to. <laughs> Steve says, don't. They suck. Good. Thank you, Steve, because they're really expensive. And I don't, I don't like some things I heard about Mick, so I, I don't want to get one, but... I was going to ask if somebody wanted to loan me one at some point, but I'm kind of over it now. Um, you actually get more UV rays when it's cloudy out, or so I've been told. You know, Olivia, I, I did get horribly sunburned once uh, when it was cloudy out. I was on a bike tour, and uh, I, I have since learned that a leave makes me, um, uh, makes me get sunburned. I guess like 10% of people, if you take a leave, the pain reliever, that it uh, makes you extra photosensitive. And my, uh, and I got horribly sunburned because I had a, 
leg injury I was trying to push through on this bike tour and I was taking a leave like candy. And uh, yeah, I got torched on a cloudy day. Mm. Any update on this 10 k so Shoot me an email so I can, I don't remember what your proper name is. So they did go out a little late, so you might not have gotten it yet. You probably would, would get it like early this week, but shoot me an email and I'll try and track down the, uh, the tracking info for you. It's been pretty crazy since I got back from Nashville. Um, why is there always a wienar on the on the channel makes it a real sausage party? Well, it's going to be gone soon. I'm giving it away tomorrow, so you won't have to see it anymore. Um, you know, Steve, though, you think you think everything sucks. I can't remember the last time I saw you give a positive review of something. That's your, uh, that's your, uh, that's your modus operandi. Hey, Pocket Tank, how's it going? Um, any CKF pieces you're interested in the moment? I'm obsessed with the moment. Fourth time asking. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that. Uh, um, is the, uh, oh, that, isn't that 523 made by them? I really want one of those. Got the insight. Very happy to have it. Good. I'm glad you got it, Derek. Yeah, that's it's a nice knife. I really do like it. Old ass man, Kenny's. Oh yeah, yeah, Steve. I know you're not a big fan of mine. I saw you say something about that before. Wow, that's weird. Detent balls wearing out that fast sucks. That's not. That's no fun. We're gonna bring out something a bit more budget here because I have really been enjoying it. And since we're talking about striders and tech to cool stuff, oh, it's got another knife on top of it. I have some cheap ones buried in the back there, but uh, I am I am still really liking this Kershaw Emerson now that they're in D two. Uh, it's uh. It's pretty cool. I have been carrying that a whole lot. Never thought I would I would want to carry something that big and that tactical as often as I do, but this has been a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a family show. I'm curious, why would somebody buy a Hinder XM24 with the orange scale? Well, some people like orange. I mean, I don't, but... Oh, congratulations, Josh. Josh says he just got a Sheer Gorov Neon Zero. That's the one I would get if I was going to buy a Shiro. That is definitely the one that I would get. Where's the Dalica? That's budget-friendly. It's around somewhere. I don't keep track of it. I probably should. I probably should keep it locked in a, in a drawer so it doesn't wander around and kill me in my sleep, but I don't think it's capable of it. I don't think it's sharp enough to make a cut. Um, how does the XM24 compare to the XM18 other than bigger? Yeah, that's it. You, that, yeah, Ronan Graves, it's just bigger. Where the freak is the Ghost Rider knife? It's broken, and I can't get it apart. It's right here, but it doesn't come apart, so uh, I don't know what to do about that. So, because this, the pivot is pinned. There's a torque screw in the back, but the pivot is pinned, and it is, uh, yeah, as you can see, it happened last week on, or a couple weeks ago, on the last live video. The uh, lock bar passed the blade, and uh, it's jammed. So, oh, wait, it just went. This is magic. So it broke on camera. Oh, no, it didn't. It didn't fix itself. Never mind. I thought it fixed itself on camera. It didn't. It's still, it's still jammed over there. Yeah, it's broken. It is broken. The Dalica is in the safe like all the queens should be. Yep. Um, I missed. What's the, what's the issue? How oh, the detailing or GB2 wore out. Yeah. They, they'll, I mean, Spyro will probably fix it as long as you don't tell them your name. <laughs> 
Uh, do you use the Wave Tech on the Emerson more so than the disc? No, I mostly use the disc. But it's uh, it's neat to have it just to show people I can do it. But uh, yeah, it's not something I normally I normally use. Normally, I just use the old the old thumb disc. I like thumb discs. I think they're pretty cool. Some people really hate them, but I really like thumb discs. I think they're neat. Talking like a suburban housewife, but um, just got your ProTech Mord asks. I'll hear amazing reviews, and I love mine already. Mike Carroll says I do too. That's one of the knives I took on the uh, took with me on my trip. Because yeah, when I go on, well, this is often in my car, but when I go on my trip, I reload this thing and put knives in it. Uh, this little Maxpedition thing, and um, I still have two of them in there. But uh, yeah, that was on the trip with me. Normally, I have other stuff on this side, but when I'm traveling, I. That's where I cram my knives. My naffs. My naffs. I love saying that. It makes me smile. The naffs. Mordax is good. All things Mordax. A little thick behind the edge, but other than that, uh, fantastic knife. Pocket tank asks how my mom's doing. Yeah, I just said a second ago, too. Um, yeah, she's doing all right. I mean, she's, she's doing how... She's doing how she do. I guess is the best way to say that. Oh, hey, Dylan. I didn't, you know, I just, I just, it just clicked to me uh, who, who you are. <laughs> it took me a second. Welcome, welcome to have you aboard. Um, going to the CZ in two weeks. Ever been this, the CZ, the, you mean check? Um, yes, I have been there. It's a beautiful country. Love it. You, I think, I think you'll like it a lot. Very, um, very, uh, um, inexpensive and very, very nice people. I mean, I haven't been there in 15 years, but, uh, really liked it. Mordex or Spidey Chef? Uh, I don't know. I, I do really desperately want one of the new CQI Spidey Chefs, but I, I'd have to hold the CQI one before, so. I don't think anything I should look for is priced on the Czech Republic. Um, I mean, the architecture is beautiful and stuff. The food's good. I, I don't really have anything specific, no. It's not like a tourist attraction kind of place. It's just very, it's just very pretty, and everybody's very, very nice. Um... Lavender Pants says, you have a CQI you can send. I haven't been impressed, unfortunately. Yeah, shoot me an email. Maybe we can work out a trade or something. Because I do really want one. Because I really, really liked the OG. But um, I just never quite got to the point where I was going to buy one. But I have I have considered it. Shoot me an email. Maybe we can. I'm kind of cash tight at the moment. But uh, maybe I could work out a trade for something. Um. And, uh, the IQ Blade Spider Co. Smock Keeper Cell. I was not horribly impressed with the smock. I Somebody handed me one once, and I got to play with it for like a day, not long enough to do a review, and um, yeah, it didn't blow me away, I have to say. Uh, it, it not enough to make me go chase one down. Have you ever played with the Aisham Abstruse? Yes, I held one at Blade Show, but not enough to do anything with it. It's pretty cool. Um, any pieces you'd like to borrow for a review? I have to look at your channel and see what it was that you, because you do reviews too, right? I think if I'm, I think I'm subscribed to you. If you're, I'm so bad about remembering people's names and remembering people's channels and all that shit. Hmm. Kapara or Spider Monkey. Didn't I do that? Did I do that battle to the death? I kind of think I did. I kind of think I did. If I didn't, I probably should. But now my Kapara is out of date. I don't remember. Um, I, I don't know. I, that would be really tough. Um, that would be really tough. I would probably say the spider monkey, but only because it's just, um, uh, 
more unique, more rare, I guess, now that the CQI ones are coming out and stuff and it's, you know, more unique, rare brand. I would say the, I would say the Spider Monkey just because there's a bit more cachet to it. Um, yeah, check out Birds and the Birds and BD one are really nice. Um, just wondering if you might still want to send you the Caribbean sheep. So maybe I don't know, Scott. I've got a lot of stuff coming up, so I have not forgotten about that. But I, I didn't. But, but yeah, Lavender Pants eighty six. Please, yeah, definitely email me about your Spidey Chef. I would like to. Maybe we can work something out. Uh, I've been eyeing. Have, we'll have a little cash at the end of the year. I've been eyeing Kapar or Keen. Any preference, man? I don't know. The Keen's pretty freaking great too. You guys are asking like a lot of a lot of tough ones here. I I love the Keen. I it's a it's a great knife. Um, actually, God, I have I have it right here because it was gonna be in a video that I did and then I didn't wind up using it. So I I still have it right out here. Um, yeah. The Keen is, the Keen's great. The Capara is great. I would say Capara just because I get tired of flippers, but um, that's just in a phase that I'm in right now, where I prefer non-flipper knives. But um, there's nothing other than that that would be the reason why I would pick one or the other. Um, Which knife would you buy that's a hundred dollars or less, but more than fifty? Wow, that's a very specific question. Um, oh, probably. Oh, uh, a pair of three lightweight would be a very, very good, a very, very good choice. Um, uh, the Kershaw's and M three ninety would be a good choice. I don't know. So, or, or yeah, John says Civivi anything. That's very good. That's a very good suggestion too, John Duncan. Yeah. And Jay Strong says I'm all flipped out too, Brian. Yeah, it's just it's, it's I have nothing against flippers. It's just God. It's just, I just I just have to review so many of them that you're just like, oh my God. American Lawman's good choice. Code Four is a good choice. What about CG, CRGB? I think it's CJRB. I don't remember which it is. Sometimes they're really nice. I reviewed a couple of them. They're really nice. Oh yeah, the Steel Wool Shala. I, I never got to handle that one. I've reviewed all the other ones, but that one I just missed out on. Um, Ontario Rat with Flitanium Scales, or just an Ontario Rat, period. Um, what's your favorite, my favorite thumb stud knife right now? Uh, oh, my Chavez, for sure. Which I don't know where the hell that thing is. I didn't take it with me on my my little trip. Oh, I know where it is. One moment. It was in a in a box on the floor behind me from that that last uh, video that I did. So yeah, this is my favorite thumb stud knife right now. It would be my Chavez. Yeah, all the CRJBs are very, 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 very inexpensive. Yep, and you got your wish, Scott Simmons. The Chavez is out. I finally remembered where I had it. I honestly couldn't remember for the life of me where the hell I put that thing. I knew it was I knew it was around here somewhere. 229 on the Hizzle. Yep, I I carry this thing way more than you think I would. It is definitely not uh Brian Spe it's Brian Speck in color, but this is not Brian Speck. But uh, I still carry it all the damn time. And I still really like it. That blade is just intoxicating. Uh, what is the knife to the far left? This is a uh, Mass Drop um, collaboration with uh, Bob Terzula. Uh, I did a review on it a while ago. This is a prototype. Um, I'm not sure if you can currently still get in on the drop or if you can order them. I don't think so. I think maybe the drop is closed. Um, but uh, it's a great knife, and I really do enjoy carrying it. It's funny, everybody talks about knife reviewers getting free. Oh, you you get free stuff all the time. It's like, no, I don't. And when I do, often it's like this, where it's a prototype. And yes, it was free, but I'm not allowed to ever sell it. So, um, yeah, because it's they made some changes. So, And it's not like warranted and all that stuff. So 
Oh, hey, thanks, thanks Pocket Tank. I appreciate it. Um, and, uh, yeah, just, just doing my job. And, um, yeah, shout out to Dylan Mallory. You know, speaking, of, speaking of the CGRBs, yeah, I mean, it's, it, you're, yeah, that's a, yeah, it's a great knife. Um, yeah, and the ProTech was the same way. I had a ProTech, uh, the Mordax prototype, but uh, I did convince them to let me send it back to get a production one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the Centros is fantastic. SoCom Elite or Large and Cozy, uh best knives ever. A SoCom Elite is definitely on my, uh, you know, uh, lotto list of when I when I have a whole lot of money to go buy some stuff. Um, that's uh, a SoCom Elite would be on that list for sure. But no, Dylan, you did a great a great job with that Centros. It's a it's a really good knife. Um. <laughs> Super Steel Steve is advising on on how he breaks knives. That's a that's a good advice. It is good. It, it, that is good consumer advice. It just genuinely is. Um, what Emerson should I get first? Uh, Matt Baker, uh, not an Emerson. Uh, get a get a ZT or hell, get even get a Kershaw. Emerson is the only. An Emerson is was one of my first knives before I even started this channel. That my, it was my first like expensive knife, and it's still to this day the only one I've ever returned. It was just, it was just terrible. Great designs, amazing designs, but just uh, the execution is not, not up my street. CQC 4K. Yeah, this get them one of the new D2 ones. It's this one, and they did another one too that's got that kind of uh Persian y sort of blade on it. But they come in D2 now. This is the CQ. I did a review on it just recently. If you go back and look on the channel, CQC 4K XL, I think it is. Does that sound right? Something like that. I would recommend this. They're 55 bucks. I, I would recommend that. If you want an Emerson design to see what they're like and see if you like them. Get that. Uh, how do you feel about Medford designs? I like the Slim Midi. Um, I like the, I like the uh, the design of the Smooth Criminal, but uh, the ones I've held had kind of weird detents. But um, I like that those two designs. The other ones aren't anything I'd really want to own. I do not want a Praetorian. I do not. I, I do. I do admit. Like I said, I did review one and a long time ago, and it did work a lot better than I thought. It was a. It was a proper knife. It actually cut things and all that stuff. That's not my thing. Wow, Ronan, thanks a lot. I really appreciate that. That's. Uh, it's very nice. Bad monkey. Um. I, I don't like the bad monkey as like much as I like the spider monkey, so I had the the production Praetorian and it worked it worked great. Yeah, Steve, exactly. It's it's like it, you know, I I want my button locks to be super, super fidgety. And it it just isn't. The detent's just not there. It drops shut, awesome, like you'd expect a button lock to do, but I want it to be super fidgety. I just did hydrate. Um, smooth kernel is so many eyes. Yeah. How do you feel about blade centering thoughts? I mean, it's annoying when the blade's not perfectly centered, but as long as it's not touching anything, I, it doesn't matter. But yes, it is annoying. It's just a sign of somebody not not giving a rat's ass. See you later, Jameson. Took your recommendation on the Knife Center Manix 2 crew wear. It's fantastic. It is. It's great. I just had mine out. I just I just I just put it away. But yeah, that's uh one of my favorite knives that I own. I love crew wear. I love the Manix 2. I like that smooth G10 texture. It's uh there's very little to dislike about that. 
Is the Keen bigger than the Crux? I don't recall. I think it's about the same. If somebody else knows, pipe in. I don't remember. I didn't care for the Crux. I'm one of the only people on Earth that didn't really like the Crux that much. Um, just the that flipper tab is obnoxious, and I just I didn't like it. Um, John John Duncan says Benchmade doesn't have any great centering, but it's okay. And Keen is slightly bigger than the Crux. Okay, but but Benchmade, you know that that's the thing of the past. But Benchmade's been doing a. I have not gotten a bad Benchmade in a very 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 long time. And they don't know who I am from a hole in the ground the way that I get them. So, uh, did you make any modifications to the Manix 2? I'm not digging the plastic ball cage. I did. And I did, there's actually a video about it. I did it. Um, uh, I put the titanium ball bearing uh, holders for, or the ball bearing cages from uh, Flytanium. They were like 35 bucks. Bit sweary to do, but not bad. Um, yeah, I, I would, I would highly recommend these. Makes it feel a lot more, a lot more, um, just, uh, expensive. I guess just touching titanium instead of that cheap plastic, it just makes it feel a lot, a lot better. Uh, what do you think is currently the best value in a titanium frame lock? Um, hmm. Some of the drop stuff. I, it, take your pick. Uh, the Keen, definitely, is great. Yeah, what, what, some of the drop stuff. Um, Dylan asks smoother. If you're asking about the Manix, no, it made no no difference in the way that it works. It's just nicer thing to touch than that. Uh, oh, yeah, the Gent is on sale, I think, right now. Yep. Hmm. Tucson, I need to get some Tucson's. I, I know I've said that like a thousand times, but every time um, every time that I think I've got money enough to, to go do it, something else comes up and I don't, I see something shiny and I wind up not getting them. I will admit I spent my Tucson money on sneakers uh, <laughs> last week. So I was already to order some Tucson's and then I went to go find those Adidas Samba OGs for my uh, my Halloween costume, and I wound up buying a pair of Jordans. So um, I haven't had Jordans since I was in high school, and they make them again. I have the Jordans I had in high school. That's that's awesome. Midlife crisis. How long do you use a knife before you review? It depends on the knife. If it's just a different version of something I've already reviewed, uh, I might I might just fiddle around with it for a day. Um, if it's something completely different and unique. Um, yeah, three four days, uh, maybe a week. I I don't I don't do super lengthy because I don't do cut tests and all that stuff. So me holding on to it for two weeks would be just me holding on to it for two weeks, you know. And a lot of times mine are loners, and I have to get them. I have to send them back off quickly. So I'm gonna take my shoe off. I'm gonna show you the Jordans that I got because I'm quite proud of them. Ah, if I can get this one off. Yeah. Jordan 1 Retros in all black. I was quite happy to find these. And they're super comfy. But uh, I think I'm going to have to wrap it up on that. Because, uh, honestly, uh, my neck is killing me. And uh, sitting in this chair ain't helping at none. So, I uh, hope you guys had a good time. We will be back again next week, same time. I will be in Halloween costume. So, uh, I'll be... It'll be hosted by Freddie Mercury. Um, and uh, I, ho I hope you guys had a good time. See you next week. Have a good one.